Congresswoman, uh, it is a, a big day on Capitol Hill. There's a, a lot that's going on right now. What's the, the current situation from where you sit? Um, well, unfortunately, we've had folks um, enter the Capitol building, um, push past the Capitol Police. And so our current debate has been shut down. Um, the House it was in session debating the objections to the Arizona uh, election count. Um, that The House is now in recess um, for security reasons. And I believe the Senate is in recess right now as well. Um, and so until there's a secure situation, we will be waiting that out before we continue debate and the process of certifying the election. What, uh, as the day started before this, this halt in proceedings, uh, what, what was your expectation or what is your expectation? Well, my expectation is that there were going to be objections in particular for Arizona, Georgia, and Pennsylvania are the state um, that some Republicans have indicated they're going to object to, that they would object, that there would be debate, and that those objections would be voted down. I still think that is what is going to happen. It's going to take a little bit longer um, because there's no validity to these objections. Our, um, they've, some of these cases have been brought up in court and they've been found to be baseless. So this is really folks trying to um, undermine the will of the people and overturn our free and fair elections. And that is not going to happen. Uh, how, how long do you think this is going to take today? I mean, this has normally been a very perfunctory uh, type of day on Capitol Hill uh, every four years. How, do you, how long do you think this will take? Well, um, for every state that is objected to, there can be up to two hours of debate. Um, we made it to Arizona and we're on Arizona uh, right now, which is where the um, debate has been suspended um, because of security issues. The president created the scenario that we're in right now. He encouraged people to come to the Capitol. He encouraged people to be disruptive. He can stop this um, and let our democratic process move forward. So um, he has very much been a part of the disruption and activity that's taking place at the Capitol today, unfortunately. What do you think of uh, the vice president's letter to Congress before all of this started today? Well, I think the vice president was talking about what his job is, which is to serve as a presider. He is not the one who gets to decide. He gets to raise issues, uh, to raise the individual state um, certificates, um, bring those forward and read those out, but he does not make the decision. Um, the people, in, like the people in Washington state made the decision on who we voted for. We voted for um, President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris. Um, each of the states have certified uh, affidavits that are in a mahogany box that were brought to the House. And we will go through those and we will certify them despite the disruptions that are taking place today. So, so say that that happens today, you obviously know what uh, happened in, in Georgia last night uh, and, and what the networks are saying about both of those races. Uh, your colleague in, in the Senate, uh, Patty Murray, has already declared victory uh, for both Democratic candidates in, in Georgia. What do you think that's going to mean for, for you in the House and, and for your Senate colleagues uh, with a, a Biden administration? Well, I think it means that we have an incredible opportunity to see governance work again. Um, the number one thing I've heard from my constituents is wanting to see governance work again. Having a Senate that is willing to actually bring bills forward and have um, senators vote on issues opposed to being blocked, which has happened uh, over and over and over again with Leader McConnell, um, means that we do our jobs. We have legislation come forward, we vote on it. Um, we have a president who actually wants to work with Congress and we have an incredible opportunity to really help move our country forward to address the pandemic, um, the healthcare needs, the vaccine distribution needs that are out there, but also the economic response and help our country recover um, as we get the vaccine out there, um, recover economically as well. So there are huge opportunities last night was incredible victory for Georgia, but also for our country and really showed where what voters are thinking right now, um, which is why it's even more um, dis more disheartening to see folks objecting to Georgia's election results today, or I assume they will, um, when the voters once again spoke loudly last night. All right, well, thank you for uh, doing this on short notice and given everything else going on outside. Yeah, well, um, stay safe. We'll hope we'll all be safe. It'll be a long evening, but um, 
again, we'll get to uh, a result maybe, maybe tomorrow morning, but um, so that we can move forward to our new administration, our new president, vice president.